Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemis on Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to solve the question 52 that was asked in JAM 2022 paper. The number of beta particles emitted in the nuclear reaction are, this is the nuclear reaction that is given, uranium 238 is giving, Pb that is lead 206. So before finding out the number of beta particles, you can see that the atomic mass is decreased. So what we have to calculate is, first step is we have to calculate the number of alpha particles. We have to find the intermediate species or nuclei that is formed. So we have to find out the number of alpha particles that are emitted first. So suppose there is an element X and its atomic mass is A, atomic number is Z and if I release one alpha particle or remove one alpha particle, what will happen? plus alpha. What is a alpha particle? It is nothing but a helium nuclei. Helium nuclei has atomic number of 2 and atomic mass number of 4. So what will happen to A? A will become A minus 4. That is atomic mass decreased by 4 and atomic number decreases by 2 units. So here if you see uranium 238, it is getting converted to lead 206. So, how many alpha particles are emitted? Just sub subtract 238. 238 minus 206. This comes out to be how much? 32. And for one alpha particle, it decreases by 4 units. So, we will divide it by 4. So, how many alpha particles are released? 4 ones are 4 eights are 32. So, 8 alpha particles are released. So, what I can do? Uranium. 238 92 and I am removing how many alpha particle 8 alpha particle so 238 it will decrease to how much 206 and 92 how many 8 twos are 16 so 92 minus 16 units will be decreased 676 76. Okay, so this is the intermediate species because we want 82. And what happens when a beta particle is emitted? Second is we have to calculate the final answer that is the number of beta particles. So what happens? Suppose again I take a neutral atom which has A as the atomic mass, Z is the atomic number and a beta particle is emitted that is minus of what is beta particle it is nothing but an electron electron it has a charge of minus one and mass is how much sorry charge of minus one and mass is how much mass is zero minus of minus it becomes plus one so what happens so what happens when a beta particle is emitted? The atomic mass is going to remain the same and for one beta particle, the atomic number increases by one unit, increases by one unit. So here, if I again write down the final product, here it is going to be lead. Here it is not going to be lead, it is going to be some other element, let's say X, okay, lead the atomic mass is going to remain the same and 76 has become what? It has become 82. So what we can do? How do you find out the number of beta particles? Subtract 76 from 82. 82 minus 76 is how much? It is 6. Okay, so for one beta particle, the atomic number increases by one unit. The atomic number is increased by 6 units. So how many beta particles are present? 6. So the correct answer is 6. Now this is a NAT type of question. So you have to answer only 6. If you ask, put any other answer like 5 or 6.1 or any other unit, then you will not get a credit for this mark. This was a 2 mark question. So the correct answer for this is what it is. 6. So in the key answer key if you see it is written 626. What is the meaning of this? 
you have to enter the value as 6. If you have entered any other value, you will not get the credit. I hope you have understood this solution. Thank you.